On behalf of the government of Japan, let me begin by expressing our heartfelt gratitude for the many messages of sympathy we received from other countries and regions, as well as international organizations in response to the Noto Peninsula earthquake that occurred on New Year's Day. Mr. President, Today, as many people across the globe, including in Ukraine and the Middle East, including the Gaza Strip, are facing dire circumstances, Japan renews its determination to strive for a world where the human dignity of each and every person is protected. The international order, based on fundamental values such as freedom, democracy, basic human rights, and the rule of law, is being challenged. The international community should unite to send a clear message that it stands behind this order and act to protect and uphold it. Mr. President, the protection of human rights is the basic responsibility of all nations. It is important for the international community to continue dialogue and cooperation to support fulfillment of this responsibility. Japan has continually drafted and submitted resolutions on the human rights situation in Cambodia that support the country's own efforts in this area. These resolutions reflect the voices of the international community and have all been adopted by consensus. We hope that this resolution will promote improvement of the human rights situation in the country. Also, a resolution on the elimination of discrimination against persons affected by leprosy and their family members was adopted without a vote at the 53rd session of Human Rights Council. We will continue to endeavor to eliminate such discrimination. At the same time, we should speak out firmly against serious human rights violations. Freedom, respect for human rights, and the rule of law must also be protected in China, including Hong Kong, Xinjiang, and Tibet. Japan is deeply concerned about the human rights situation in China and reiterates its position of strongly urging China to take constructive and concrete actions. Japan is concerned that no action has been taken to improve the situation in Myanmar. We will continue to work closely with the international community, including ASEAN, and make every effort to improve the situation in Myanmar. With the aging of the abductees and their families, there is no time to spare in resolving the sensitive humanitarian issue of the abductions by North Korea. Japan will continue to strongly urge North Korea to take concrete and positive actions towards the immediate resolution of the abductions issue in close cooperation with the international community including through the resolutions on the situation of human rights in the DPRK. Mr. President, Japan is continuing its tireless efforts at home as well. Under the National Action Plan on Business and Human Rights formulated in 2020, Japan has been working to promote respect for human rights in business activities. In April last year, the government formulated the policy on human rights considerations in public procurement. We are also cooperating with international organizations to provide support to countries developing national action plans and conducting training and seminars for Japanese companies operating overseas and their suppliers. Last year, Japan led the gender agenda in various areas as the G7 presidency. We are also promoting women's empowerment domestically. Mr. President, improvement of the global human rights situation cannot be achieved overnight. Japan, as a member of the Human Rights Council, will continue to uphold the free and open international order based on the rule of law. Thank you for your attention.